Hello, everybody. This is Christine Till, the Marketing Mentress, and I'm so excited. I just wanted to give you three tips today to show you how you can make 20K by the end of this year. So we've got about two, a little about two and three quarters months, okay, left to go. And I'm going to show you the steps. So if you'll bear with me, I want to show you because he here's the thing. I, I'm Christine Till. I'm the marketing mentress. I call myself the marketing mentress. And the reason I, I call myself that is because way back when I was laid off my job at the age of 61, I couldn't get another job. I thought I'm, I'm not a frump. I don't have dementia. I should get another job, right? Oh, ho, ho. They don't want you when you're over 60. And there's several reasons why, which I've explained in other videos. And I just want to make some extra income to help pay the bills and be able to go visit grandchildren, right? We have eight children scattered all over North America, right? And five are in the United States and three of them are in Canada at opposite ends of the country. And when you're on a pension in Canada, your pension is like teeny weeny. Yeah, about 1300 a month is the average pension in Canada. And the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Canada is over $2,000 a month. Yes. In Toronto, I saw I spoke to a young couple who are just newly married, and they're both working three jobs. Yeah. And get this. They're living in a one-room box in Toronto. They're paying $5,000 a month for that one room. And I've got friends that live in Vancouver who are living in a one room box and paying thirty three hundred a month for that one room box. Guys, if you think you got it made good and you're looking down the nose of being fired in your 50s or laid off, they call it laid off. That's just a way of glossing over you're fired. Right. And so what are you going to do? Do you have a whole bunch of savings saved up for yourself? Yeah. Do you? Or say you get laid off in your 50s. Do you have a nest egg, right? My financial planners tell me that when you retire in Canada, you need to have the equivalent of what it would cost to buy a home wherever you're living in Canada to supplement your pension for the rest of your born natural life. Because you don't know how long you're going to be living, right? Yeah, it's not there to go blow, <sighs> Yeah, it's there to supplement your pension because look at it. If you've got a thirteen hundred a month pension and you're in a one bedroom apartment that pays that that, that you have to pay two thousand a month, somewhere you've got to get something to supplement that, right? And is that going to be jumping into a credit card? Yeah, are you going to jump into a credit card until that's maxed out? You need to have a nest egg saved up so that you can be able to backstop yourself for your retirement. And here's another thing that's going to be happening in just a few years here in Canada. The retirement age is going to be moved to 67. You won't be able to even apply for your pension until you're 67. That'll be in around 2027. Yeah. And I looked that up on our, our uh, government website, our CRA website. So the way it's going to work is they're going to start with people whose birthdays were in 1958. And they're going to, when you have your birthday, say your birthday's in January, okay, and you turn 65, you can't apply for your pension for two months. So in March, then you can apply for your pension, okay? And that's going to keep rolling over like that every two months until finally everybody is applying for their pension at the age of 67. So if they don't have a backstop, if they don't have a pension booster in place, they are going to be stuck on the street because here's another thing. Subsidized housing is really scarce because people who live in subsidized housing have to or, or need subsidized housing or are looking for subsidized housing, they have to put their name on a list all across Canada, right? In Alberta, we're a little bit more fortunate because you only have your name on the list for about one to two years, right, before you get into subsidized housing. But in Ontario, you put your name on a list and you're waiting for a good five years before you get it accepted into subsidized housing. Yes, that's true. So what are you going to do? Where are you going to be when you hit 65? And if your birthday was in 1958 or later, yeah, 
you're going to have a, lots of fun trying to apply for your pension at the age of 67. And here's another thing. If you take early retirement in Canada, so here's what happens. Early retirement. So say you get laid off your job, fired in your early 60s, right? You can apply for your Canada pension in early retirement. They call it early retirement. They call it taking early retirement. But here's what happens. And they don't tell you about this. It's in the small fine print. So you have to be careful. Make sure you read everything. So when you get that pension, you apply for that pension, you get something like 500 a month, right? Okay. Here's what happens. They take a deduction off of your pension for the rest of your born natural of almost 200 a month. It's around 200 a month that they take off your pension. Yeah, so you end up for the rest of your born natural because you took early retirement, you are stuck with 200 less than you what you would have at normally. Yeah, so put that in your brain box and think about it for a minute. So here's what I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to give you three things that you can do to be able to get yourself into a position where you have basically automated income coming in on a regular basis, right? And it takes a little tiny bit of preparation. So number one, you need a computer, you need a, a phone, and you need to have access to the internet, and you need to be teachable. The most important thing is that you're teachable, guys. <laughs> I'm a boomer. I'm in my 70s. I'm 75. And I had to make my mind teachable so that when I'm learning all this techie stuff, I can do it right? So you can do the same thing. If you found yourself in their 50s or your 60s or your 70s, we even have people in their 80s who are using this program that I found for the last 13 and a half years, ever since I was laid off my last job when I was 61. What I have been looking for is done for you kinds of programs that you can just, they're all done. They're all set up. You just have to connect it up to your own computer system, right? And so you only have to watch some training videos. And in those training videos, they say, step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, do this. So you play a little bit, stop it, do it on yours. Play a little bit, stop it, do it on yours. Rewind. <laughs> play a little bit, stop it, do it on yours. I had to do it about six times, but I got it done, guys. I got it done. And if I can do it, and I'm not techie, you guys can do it too. Yes, I learned um, how to do social media. I learned how to specialize with LinkedIn and how to get people on my email list using LinkedIn. But I learned it. I didn't grow up with tech. I am not a techie person. And you can be not techie, but don't let that hold you up because this program that I found, the legacy program, will help you. So the three things that I can tell you about how to be able to make uh, on two, working two hours a day, be able to work that into making t daily pay so that by you could have $2,000 saved up or made by the end of this year, okay? So by the end of 2024. So here we go. Here's the three things that you need to do. So in, in order to be able to get to this point where you can earn the, the extra 2,000, okay? Or 20,000, sorry, not 2,000, 20,000. So you, with this 20,000, you'd have to do three posts a day on your throughout all your social media. And so I show you how to do those three posts a day and repurpose them to all your different social media platforms. Yeah, so you don't have to spend 11, 11 12, 16, 18 hours a day on your computer and stuck to your phone, right? So that's number one. Number two, do three TikTok videos a day. They're real easy. You can do them anywhere from about five seconds all the way up to 10 minutes, right? So just do three little TikTok videos a day. And in our community that you join, when you buy a program, and there's four programs to choose from, but when you buy a program, you automatically get invited into this community that we belong to. And there's so much training and help available, all kinds of tech help. There's three tech meetings a week where you on Zoom, where you can go and share your screen and get them to walk you through some of the places where you've gotten hung up or stuck, right? So there's no such thing as being stuck. There's no such thing as not being able to do tech because there's all kinds of help for you. 
So once you have all this tech under control, which is very easy, simple, straightforward to do, okay? So that's the second thing. The third thing is you can post free ads. You post free ads every day and like it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, and we have training to show you how to post those ads. So there are people who are posting 100 ads a day. They're all free. You don't have to pay for them. And they're getting sales, guys. Yeah. So if you could do that, do just those three things every day, it would change your life. And I'm doing them. And it's changing my life. I'm not at 100K yet, but my goal is to hit 20K by the end of December. Yes. <laughs> I'm Christine Till. I call myself the Marketing Mentress. And I look forward to helping you with some more guide guidance and tips on my next video.